Yeah, hi there. These comments are for asthma. This is Michael, your level four grammar instructor. Good to hear from you. So let's take a look at, uh, you just sent me an email. It looks like you sent it from your phone. So it says, describe an exciting event in your life. Explain how it changed you. Okay, let's read it. It looks like you emailed it or you wrote it out, maybe. You said, an exciting event in my life was my graduation. On last day of my graduation, I went to college with my friends to greet our doctors and professors. I think you want to say greet, right? G-R-E-E-T, to greet our doctors and professors. I would change that to S. I would say who, not whom. Who taught and educated us during the last five years? It was a wonderful day when we saw the man who was our dean of the college. I would put here who wished us the best. I wouldn't say best here. Who wished us a great life and successful career. After that, in two months, I started a job in my specialist physical therapy. I would change this to say I started a job as a physical therapy specialist. I would put that noun at the very end there. And then you say, in the rehab center, to treating children that with disabilities, I, I see what you're saying here. So you have the, in the rehab center, to treat, I would say, to treat children with disabilities. After four years of experience in my field, I met a friend who told me about studying English program. Now, wait a minute here. Hold on. Now, I think that the main thing that you want to focus on here is your graduation day. That's what you have in your thesis, right? And that's what I would build the rest of this essay around is the graduation day. So, so getting into studying English program and then taking risk and quitting your job, that's probably you're, you're going in a different direction that I don't think that you want to go in. I think with this writing so I would end the essay strictly focusing around your graduation day so there's not a lot of development I think for your topic you need more details you could have used some quotes or maybe some paraphrases or something but uh, hold on a second I'll be right back somebody's knocking on the door So anyway, with uh, this, I think you probably want to reorganize and focus the essay so it's focusing around the graduation day. Probably you don't want to go off in that direction where you're talking about the English program and also about quitting your job. I think those are topics for another paper. So in terms of your grammar, your organization, it's your paper is not very well organized. You need to format it better. I mean, I said type double-spaced. So your paragraphing and your sentence style and how you put all that together is a little bit confusing. Uh, so the extra credit here, I'm going to give you two points out of ten on this particular uh, assignment.